Yeah. Why is a monkey jumping on Bailey's face? What are we doing on a mountain in Gibraltar? Let me explain. We are the Dream to Journey family. We are slow traveling the world and have been exploring the incredible country of Spain for the last month. Picking up our rental car, we headed for the British territory of Gibraltar. On the tram ride to the top of the rock, I made sure to warn Bailey of the aggressive nature of the monkeys, to which she had this to say. <laughs> if only she knew about the warm welcome she was about to receive. Arriving at the top, we were instantly greeted by monkeys. Keeping our distance from our furry friends, we loved taking in the views from the top of Gibraltar until yeah. Bailey's life flashed before her eyes as a monkey saw her head as the perfect landing spot. Oh. Oh. Let's watch this one more time in slow motion. That was a close one. After checking to make sure my wife and baby were okay, I couldn't help to let out a well-deserved I told you so. After that experience, Bailey definitely made sure to keep her eyes on the monkeys. Climbing our way up along the Mediterranean steps, Bailey decided to get a little payback. Oh gosh. Don't you dare, that is not funny. <laughs> you know I hate heights. Ho oh, ho ho. Pretty cool, huh, girl? Here we are, walking across Gibraltar. <laughs> we paid to come up to the top, but we are not paying to go go down through the tramp, so we are walking it. Yep, we're taking the long way down and uh, it's been really nice. We've been able to stop at all the different nature stops that they have. We just saw a cool cave and then we're uh, headed down to go see some of the siege tunnels and Moorish castles. So that's kind of what we're up to, but we were just talking about how, how nice it is today. It's just beautiful weather, 70s, slight breeze off the sea and man you just cannot beat the view looking out over the bays we're walking along here it's been a good day so far can't see what else it has to bring can't wait to see can't wait to see what else it has to offer The Great Siege of Gibraltar took place between 1779 and 1783 when the British successfully defended the territory against the siege by the Spanish and French. During the siege, the British excavated tunnels inside the Rock of Gibraltar to protect their troops and supplies from enemy fire. After getting one last look at our monkey friends, we headed back down to the city center. I know, I am dying too. I think that I am falling down these stairs <laughs> and just catching myself on each step. I don't think I'm actively stepping down the stairs. Definitely, definitely the case for me too. My <laughs> legs are shaking with every step. I've been walking all day and then we've got to traverse these thousands of stairs all the way down. But we got this, there's some, there's some good dinner waiting for us at the bottom. <laughs> We'll count, we'll count how many stairs there are. Does it taste pretty good, baby? <laughs> oh man, we're, we're so hungry. So we got their house burger with a duck wrap. Bailey have to let us know how that is. The waiter suggested it. And and a steak roll. Steak roll for the Reesers. <laughs> a 
after our meal, we headed back to Spain by crossing, of all things, an active airport runway. Don't worry, an alarm sounds when a plane is taking off or landing, warning those crossing on foot to clear the way. Leaving the city of Seville, we drove through some of the most beautiful countryside we have ever seen, taking special care to go through back roads and small quaint towns. Eventually, we came across an iconic view of the city of Arcos de la Frontera. Parking the car, we loaded up the stroller and we started for the top of the town up the hill. And we mean uphill. Arcos de la Frontera, meaning the arch of the border, is a beautiful area surrounded by the Guadalate River. The city was settled by Moors in the 11th century and by Christian conquerors in the 13th century. I don't want to though. <laughs> Pretty flower, Reese. Can I see your flower? Hey, Reese. Can I see your flower? Oh, that is so pretty. Our favorite view was from the south point of the summit where you can kiss your favorites <laughs> under the kissing arch. That was a good one. <laughs> and admire the bright colors of flowers against the white walls of the town. Walking back to the summit, we stood right up against a 14th century cathedral still with the original 10 bells ringing out the time as we walked by. And after exploring this amazing city, what else was left to do than enjoy this beautiful view? We were just talking about, while walking these streets, we were just talking about how we've had this whole place all to ourselves. It's been so quiet. We haven't seen hardly any tourists walking around. We're some of the only ones. We just love that feeling of being the only uh, travelers that it, that it feels like in, in an area and I definitely think that the time of year to come is now because it's hot already yep. and it's not even summer climbing up those, all these hills and stairs Ooh, it's getting hot but yes. man it is just so pretty and before we hit the road again we topped off at a restaurant at the top of the city we started off with some bacon wrapped prawns. I had a veal burger. And Kyle had lamb chops. Reese was thrilled to get some of her wiggles out before we hit the road again. I've heard it said that joy is not found in the finishing of an activity, but in doing it. We stopped halfway on our destination to enjoy the views of small towns built into massive hillsides and imagined what life is like there. Halfway between Seville and Ronda, we found a quiet white city curving around a mountainside. After a while at this overlook at the city of Zahara de la Sierra, we were surprised to find we had spent much longer enjoying this time to ourselves and this view than planned. This simple moment is now a cherished memory to us. Arriving in Ronda, we were greeted with a gorgeous sunset as we sat over the Puente Nuevo bridge, as well as a surprise at our apartment. Carl, what are you doing? <laughs> Making Reese's little bed. <laughs> she, uh, our Airbnb host is being a little dumb and didn't get us a crib like we asked, so we're making Reese her bed because it's bedtime and we got here a little late. So. We are just gonna make it work and we'll show you the finished product once it's ready. <laughs> Reese is getting tired. Uh, so are we. And we have a. Uh, here we have it. We figured out Reese's sleeping situation. We call it the Harry Potter Closet Crib 2000. And uh, as you can see, we put some couch cushions down here and put down her sheet that she has with a little shelf there with some cushions to keep her from crawling back. Um, and we'll close these doors. Don't you worry, they have slits, slits in them so there's gonna be plenty of air getting in and out. And then we'll go like that. And 
she's gonna sleep great all night long. It's been a long day, but uh, you just gotta learn how to be creative on the fly when you're traveling full time. Man, it is exhausting though. Let's get to it. Isn't that right? Good morning. <gasps> did you? Hold on, did you sleep in the closet? <laughs> Did you sleep pretty good? Sure did. <laughs> the next morning we headed out to explore the city of Rhonda. Visiting in the springtime was a delightful experience. The weather was mild and the surrounding countryside was lush and green, making it the perfect time to take in the town's charming streets and scenic views. in Rhonda for the first time was an absolutely breathtaking experience. The Puente Nuevo, which spans a gorge of more than 100 meters deep, is the main attraction in this charming hill town. We decided to hike down to the base of the bridge for a better view. Passing lush springtime greenery and ruined ancient city walls, we arrived at the foot of the Puente Nuevo Bridge. I can't think of a better spot to take it all in. When completed in 1793, the Puente Nuevo Bridge was the world's tallest and remained so for almost a century until the construction of the Brooklyn Bridge in New York City in 1883. After walking back up the very steep path up to the city, we found the restaurant with the perfect view, Don Miguel. Our table on the ledge was amazing, but even more memorable was our food. Absolutely delicious pork tenderloin from our Spanish who love their pigs. From the balcony of our restaurant, we had a clear view of the middle room of the Puente Nuevo Bridge once used as a prison during the Spanish Civil War. Thank you, Rhonda, for such an amazing experience. We cannot wait to come back. We're the Dream to Journey family, and we had a blast making this video this week. We hope that you've enjoyed it as well. We'll be making more videos every week, so subscribe so you can get notifications for those as well. And as always, dream big and enjoy the journey.